Okay, peace, hello my loves, marhaba hi bete. Um, so I had an appointment at the hospital this week and I got some news and I thought, hey, let's sit and film a quick health update. Anytime I have to go in, I just, there's always a lot of thoughts and, and emotions and what have you and so I thought I would sit and check in with you. So the first bit of great news is that I went in and all my numbers are within a normal range, which is really exciting, which means I'm healing, which means I'm getting better. Um, and all of that is really great stuff. Um, it, it's been a scary touch and go couple months, but I'm really excited that we're on the right track. The second thing that was really cool in that appointment was that she told me that um, she was really happy with the progress I'd made and that, kind of to parap paraphrase what she said, that through the lifestyle changes that I'd implemented, I was really able to self-heal. And I had a moment where I was like, that felt so rewarding because with weight loss, and I'm sure any of you that have been on the roller coaster that is weight loss can attest to the fact that your weight fluctuates. Regardless of how hard you're working, there are weeks where you will have worked really hard at the gym and eaten really well and your weight will still go up. And it's really frustrating. And so um, it was really great to get validation from the doctor, who was the reason that the whole weight loss thing started in the first place, because it was my health driven, right? Um, to get validation from her that like the numbers that really, really can make or break me that are really important, those numbers are showing the progress and that was huge. And when she mentioned the idea about lifestyle change having a positive impact, it kind of made me think. And this is the first time in my life where this has ha really been about lifestyle changes, where I'm not like, okay, I'm dieting and this is the end goal and this is the date and it's to fit in this dress or to go to this event or to whatever. Um, and it's a it's more, it's become more of a holistic, like, okay, you have to change <laughs> the way that you interact with food. You have to change your attitudes about working out. You have to, 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 to make a concise effort to change the way um, that you lead your week for yourself. Um, and I've toyed back and forth about how to phrase this because it can get to a point where you get really preachy and it can be like, oh, you should do this or you should do that. And that's never, ever what I want to do. Um, I think the gist of the message that I wanted to sit down here and say is that any kind of health related journey that you choose to embark in, be it for health related reasons coming from a doctor, for personal related reasons, for whatever, it has to be a reason that you want, first of all, like no one should tell you, even if a doctor tells you that you kind of may or may not need something, unless it's something that you believe in wanting to work on and to invest in, then it's it's not going to come from a place of conviction and so it's almost not worth doing. <laughs> um, so I think for me what it is, what, what I'm trying to convey is that it any of these health related changes that we decide we want to take on, we should take on A, for ourselves, and B, we should also take on with the idea that this is a long term thing, that you're investing not in the next 15 pounds, but you're investing in the rest of your life really and and so that's why it's a lifestyle change um, and so in that vein it's not about meeting that particular you know um, weight loss target or fitting into that size pants it's about what how do I want my life to look any given week any given month and what's sustainable for me so I think for me for me personally what that means is that where do I find the balance in the exercise? So a lot of you have asked what I've been doing for exercise. So I go to the gym really early in the morning, five times a week, and then I've started running four times a week. And when I go to the gym, I either go to spin class, which I never thought I would love, but the classes that I found have a really great vibe to them and I really, really enjoy it. It's like a party on a bike, there are lights, there's music, it's great. It makes me move and it makes me happy. Um, and then the other class that I go to is a circuit class, so there are 10 circuits around the class like bicep curls, push-ups, um, sit-ups, like all kinds of different exercises and I enjoy it because I feel my body getting stronger and so I really like that and then the running that I've recently <laughs> added to the mix is because I want to run my first half marathon. I've run long distance since high school and uh, 10k was my distance but my dream had always been to run a half marathon one day and so now that I have uh, a set date for that getting back into running is amazing and every time I go for a run, there are days I have good runs, there are days I have bad runs, but when my runs are great, it's meditation and motion for me. It, it makes me kind of let go of all the stress and just be in the moment and I love it. So, excuse me, so when I think about finding my balance, I know that my body needs exercise because for me running is huge. It's something that brings me happiness, it's a passion, it's a hobby. And so the other things that I do, be it spin, be it circuit, be it whatever, um, help build strength so that I can be a stronger runner. And so for me it's not about 
oh god, I have to go to the gym. It's no, I'm working on this goal for me. This is an important part of my life, of my passions. And so that's kind of where I fit it in. I think as, as soon as the gym um, or working out or being active in general, as soon as it becomes a chore, you're A, not going to do it and you're not going to enjoy doing it. And you should enjoy doing it because it's supposed to be a part of your life long term, right? So I think it's about finding the activities that you enjoy, be it walking, be it hiking, be it swimming, being whatever it is, um, and finding a way to make it kind of a more natural part of your day, I think uh, is kind of key to, to having it be enjoyable and having it be long term. On the other hand of that is eating, right? And so um, especially in the last couple months, I had to be quite strict. So basically, I was eating a lot of um, lean protein. I don't eat meat, so it was a lot of fish. Uh, it was beans and lentils and that kind of thing, and then a lot of veggies. Um, adding in a little bit of fruit when I needed kind of a sugar kick, and um, adding in very few carbohydrates, so usually some like really high in fiber toast or whatever. And I was really strict with it because I needed initially because of the health thing that I was really fixated on and needed to work on, I needed to be quite strict with it. I'm at the point now where I still want to be losing some weight because I'm still, um, honestly, again, it's from a running perspective, my knees <laughs> don't love me very much when I long, run long distance because I'm heavier than I have been when I was training before. So I'm still working on the weight loss, mainly because I want my knees not to take it as hard when I'm running on them. Um, but in terms of the way that I eat, food means something to me. And I realized that because of, of the health conditions I have, I can't eat the way I want to eat all the time, which is a very heavy carb loaded diet. Um, and so I have started to, to, you know, bring back certain meals into my diet that make me happy. So like, I'm a huge fan of pizza, but I'm not just going to like have really gross pizza or order pizza. My camera very rudely cut me off. So I think one of those things, I'm not going to have it three, four times a week, but if sort of once every two weeks or once every 10 days I have a nice meal with a friend or a family and I'm actually enjoying the food that's in front of me, I'll splurge and have some pizza. Maybe I won't eat the whole thing like I usually would. I'd have half or three quarters um, or I'll have a pasta dish. I've, I've started to realize that like I was the kind of girl that ate, I, I'm just being sort of in tune to my eating habits. I would eat a lot of pizza regardless of how good it was <laughs> just because I liked it as opposed to really enjoying the food that was in front of me. So. Um, yeah, or like if I go away on holiday balancing my, my day. So if we go out and we have a really yummy brunch and there's like this great French toast, I'll have the French toast, but maybe I'll have kind of more greens or, you know, um, salads or whatever for lunch and dinner. And I found that finding more balance throughout my day and incorporating meals when they're really good and they're part of an experience, that for me has really been working. So I think, again, it's not about depriving ourselves constantly, but thinking long term, what is, is realistic for us? What um, can we sustain over a long period of time? How can we find our own balance? So yeah, this definitely, I, I again, my huge disclaimer here is only insight change that you feel that you want in your... Okay, my camera just hates me today and just wants to just shut off at any given moment. So I think what I'm just, what I'm trying to say is that I want everyone to live their lives for themselves and to be their happiest version of themselves. So this is by no means a like prescriptive, you should do X, Y, and Z. This is just for any of you that are on similar paths that, you know, uh, want to share your stories, that want to hear kind of what's more cool for me and the balance that I found. That's, that's what this is. That's just us chatting together. So anyways, thank you for hanging out. <laughs> thank you for being patient. I'm doing some quick points of positivity and I will be done. So the first is uh, filming this video. I love these kind of more chatty informal videos. They make me really happy and I like ha hanging out with you guys. My second point of positivity is getting a good amount of sleep in today, which made me super, super happy and all rested. And my third is a really productive morning. I got a lot of stuff done off my kind of to-do list. So that made me super happy. I'm off to wash some brushes. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Before I leave you, as always, let me remind you that life is just way too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.